VP Racing is all about performance fuels, including SEF small engine fuel. It contains no ethanol, ensuring easier starts, worry-free long-term storage, and fewer repairs. Check out SEF, the perfect fuels for gas-powered tools. Good morning, welcome to the Olympus Rally. This is the last round of the 2012 Rally America National Championship. A few things are different about this rally. One of those specifically is that the schedule has been moved around from what we would call a normal rally schedule to deal with a fire threat. And so based on that fire threat, we're gonna run this morning. We've got a first stage starting at 6.30 here in the morning. It'll still be dark out here. Uh, in fact, it's 5.45 now a.m. Everybody's been up since about 4.30 a.m. down in Olympia. Have driven up here. We're at the Ridge Motorsports Park where service will be based for the entire event. Uh, so everything's getting started really early this morning. We have four stages to run from 6.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. this afternoon. And then from 1 p.m. to 6 or 1 p.m. maybe to even 8 uh, this evening, there'll be a dark time with no cars out in the forest on the stages. Uh, at the end of the day, we'll fire back up and run another three or four stages in the dark, which is cool that over half of the rally will be uh, run in the dark. So teams have been doing specialized testing for this event to deal with how they're going to point their lights and aim everything to deal with the amount of dust that's here. Dust is the other story. There's a lot of it. it uh, to me, it looks so cloudy. It looks more like silt in areas than dust. I think the organizers planning on a three minutes between the top cars and two minute dust window to uh, just to start out with this morning. Um, so uh, that's kind of where we sit there. Uh, teams are going to go out in a little while. A lot of people are going to choose to run their lights on this first loop. Uh, actually, they're going to go out and do one stage, come back to service, and most teams are going to carry their lights out to that stage. Not only is there going to be dust on this stage, but obviously we've got some fog still hanging in the trees and here in the service area. Let me bring you up to speed really quick about what's going on and why this weekend is really cool. In the overall uh, championship battle, David Higgins sewed that up at New England Forest Rally. So here we have uh, no one with a championship on their mind in open class. They're all just hammer down going for bragging rights of beating the next guy. Uh, Ken Block has joined us. In fact, I could give you the running order, the top five on the road. We're going to start with Pat Richard came down from Canada. He chose first and picked first on the road. Quite a smart choice, especially with the dust issues. Uh, behind Pat Richard is going to be Ken Block. Ken Block chose uh, to go second place on the road. Third is Leo, Crazy Leo. Then fourth we got Antoine, and David Higgins sits in fifth. Speaking to David yesterday, he thinks that running fifth on the road, if he's able to cope with the dust, is going to be an advantage because he's going to be running on a more swept road surface. That can make a big difference in the top couple cars down some of these loose gravel stages. Some of the loose stages have really big rocks sitting on top where the car's floating around a lot. Some of those same stages are quite fast, so it's going to make a big difference in speed to get those rocks swept off the top. Uh, let's say there's Will orders. Grab Will. So uh, we're just going to try to grab a few drivers, get done with this piece, and get our butts in the woods to cover stage one. Will, are you going out with lights this morning? Uh, do you have any particular attitude and plan for stage one? Yep, flat out. Um, no lights this morning, we think. We're out at about 10 past 7 onto the first stage. Um, we think it's going to be light enough to not carry the lights. So um, a little bit of a gamble, but, you know. Well, if you have any kind of issue, then the lights aren't there for tonight, right? Yeah, exactly right, exactly <laughs> right. So yeah, that too. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we wish you luck. We know that in two-wheel drive, um, clearly you showed up in the championship a little bit too late to be fighting for the overall championship, so you're just here to prove a point and kick a lot of butts, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> we've been we've been a little bit tentative all year to, to prove that we're consistent, and this is sort of our event to, to show what we can really do. So we're going to you know pull out all stops and see how fast we can go. Nice. Part of our story for the for the day is going to be tire wear. So we're going to be checking in with Will's probably going to have the ugliest looking tires by the end of the event. <laughs> so we're going to check in, check out the blisters on his rear tires when we get a moment. Awesome. All right, we're going to move. Thanks, Will. Thanks. Good luck. Okay, let's head up here and see who else we can grab really quick. I'll try to stop shivering while we do so. Let me see if we can grab Antoine for us. Cool. 
to check in with Antoine really quick. I haven't gotten to catch up with him uh, since we did the seeded draw to ask him about what he thinks of his position. Let's swing right around here. Good morning. Yeah, there's an interview here. <laughs> I know John loves those interviews, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you know John, you know what we're talking about. Really quick, Antoine, what do you think of your starting position? Uh, well, if it's dusty, it will be really bad, like like everybody except Pat. But uh, could be cleaning. So uh, if it's not dusty, Fort is really pretty good. Uh, David seemed to think it'd be an all right position, provided the dust isn't too heavy. Yeah. I think a little bit like that too because it's definitely going to clean so uh, hopefully there's no dust and hopefully Leo has a good pace too and he's, he's going hard and um, yeah hopefully yeah. it'll be good. Not, so, not much I can do this morning so we'll try our best uh, with the position we have. So what's funny here is Antoine uh, when he hears Leo say oh flat out flat out Antoine's like no Leo don't drive flat out because if Leo has trouble it's going to be more dust for Antoine, and it'll negatively impact you here early. Yeah, but <laughs> at the same time, I, I want him to have a good pace because if I'm catching him, then it, it means I don't have a three-minute window. So hopefully he has a good run, and uh, hopefully we can make the best of the cleaning. All right. Thank you for your time. Thanks, guys. Good luck. All right. We'll cruise along here. Let Antoine get back to business. <laughs> uh, so we've got Ken's rig and the Subaru rigs here hanging out. Brando, can we grab you for a sec? I'm going to talk to uh, Brando, one of the lead techs for David Higgins Subaru. What have you guys done to be ready for the dust and the fog this morning? Did you do a lot of testing at night with lights? Uh, no, not very much. Stick with what we know and uh, hope it works out in the end. That's usually what prevails. <laughs> Don't want to try too many new things last minute. End of the season usually doesn't work well. Uh, a lot of people have seen things go bad like that. And uh, yeah, you try a lot of stuff, but in the end you stick to really close to the same old thing a lot of times. Got it. Are you excited to see this battle go down as well? Because uh, I know David's pretty excited about it. Yeah, I'm it. excited. I've been involved with some of the rally cross stuff. To come back for this last rally at the end of the year is uh, exciting for me. So, uh, yeah, it's a good time. Cool. All right. We uh, are going to have to keep moving on. we got to hit. Thanks uh, for your time, Brando. we got to hit the stage ourselves and get rolling here in a minute. <laughs> um, maybe we'll grab one more person and then we'll probably have to call this, right? Yeah, let's grab Adam and jump in the car. Okay. Hi. Morning. Think about a new trail. We'll grab Adam Yo in really quick and then we're going to roll. Hopefully we'll have this up here in a little while. Good morning. It's Jeremy. Where is Adam? Is he inside? Yeah. Did he go back to sleep? <laughs> really? No. <laughs> talk to Adam for a second? Yeah. <laughs> we'll let him come on here. We've got great light in here to chat with him as well. Adam really appears to love mornings. Lots of tires. That's Thank definitely going to be key for this weekend. So the loose rocks on top of the stages aren't what burn the tires up. It's all the embedded rocks. We'll be showing you guys a, a shot of that in a little while. Do you love being up this early in the morning? It is ridiculously early, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the best, but you know, at least we get to go out and have some fun. Yeah, what are your plans? Uh, pushing the word go. I think um, the car is vastly improved from New England, and so we're hoping to put it through its paces and uh, see what she can do. What we saw for some, from some testing you did in Wyoming was it looked really, it looked like there were roads that would prepare you for a different version of Olympus. Have you been able to test the current setup of the car on the tight, twisty stages that we have now? Uh, no, we, there was some stuff that we didn't shoot in Wyoming that was pretty tight and twisty, so we were able to test for that um, and just shot the wide open stuff that looked pretty cool. So. Cool. Uh, in what main department have you made improvements since New England? Is it handling, suspension, car weight? What is it? Uh, yeah, we managed to get about 250 pounds out of the car, and so we're oh. a good 100 pounds out of weight with some ballast now. Um, retuned, it got a lot more power, new rad pack set up, and so hopefully it's going to be good. Wow, that's a lot of changes. Well, we're going to wish you luck, let you get back to your rest of your waking up process. <laughs> we'll see you out on the stages. Thanks to you. All right, so this is Matthew Johnson. I'm signing off from the beginning of the Olympus Rally. It's O Dark 30 for everybody. Lots have been up since 4 or 4.30 in the morning with revving cars up in the parking lot. I experienced that. Um, so we're going to sign off from here and head out to stage one and get you some coverage from there. Thanks for joining us.